We are back. It's been a while, but we recently went to Crunchyroll Expo in San Jose, California, and I gotta say, wow. What is up, pop community? I am the Patrick. This is... Carissa. Of Tomorrow Comes Movies, and it feels so good to say this. Welcome back to the channel. I was so rusty that I can't even do this correctly. I'm usually on sync, but yeah, we are back. So what happened was after, you know, we've been grinding a lot. We've been doing a lot of videos. We've been doing a lot of podcasts. You know, Chris and I have this move that we're still working on. We need a break, right? Yes. So, Carissa, how would you sum up our break? Exhausting. Yes. Um, moving from one state to another was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Especially when you do small um, increments of the move. Yes. Which is one giant move. And we're still, my life is still in boxes now. Um, we got one area set up for filming. We have another area for filming. I cannot believe how many Funkos we have. It is literally like, I think we have like seven bookshelves. It, it is. Well, we should also let them know that uh, this is completely different, too. Yes. Yeah, this, you know, yes. the the original one that we had here is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, we have bookshelves. We decided that bookshelves... We live in California, and because of earthquakes, if I forgot there were earthquakes here, Patrick just said we need a bookshelf. She said she forgot. I told her repeatedly... I wasn't thinking. You need to get shelves. Most likely, an earthquake they could fall. At least I've they'll never, go. I've never at least they will fall earthquake. in one direction, not everywhere, or get stuck and stuff like that. So I think the bookshelves look better anyway. But we kept this one in the middle. Chris yes. would like to rotate that one with new yes. stuff. So let's talk about why we were here. We went to Crunchyroll Expo in San Jose, California, over Labor Day weekend. And if you know anything about anime? You know, Crunchyroll is what the biggest distributor I think of anime. It's the biggest distributor for anime. Yes. And you know, they had this awesome convention. We were fortunate and lucky enough to be able to cover it. And thank you to them for letting us come out. But this is the best anime convention I've ever been to. Yeah, I can state that I with agree. a fact. Crunchyroll Expo, the way they designed their convention was a city, yes. meaning there was like a newspaper stand, an actual newspaper stand with actual newspapers, yes. which. If you read it, it reads just like a newspaper, but it gives you all the con details, which Krista was so enamored and she's so like fixated on that she kept making me take several photos of Open her. Open up the, the, the newsstand, take photos of me, hold the newspaper, like if I'm reading, even though I'm not. Um, I didn't even read the newspaper. That's the yeah, funny the thing main, about it. The main component <laughs> of a newspaper is to read it. And oh, instead, I she's a millennial. <laughs> the, the millennial thing is not actually use it, just use it for a photo <laughs> for Instagram. I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Let's show you guys the footage of Crunchyroll.
when you went inside the convention, which hopefully the footage showed a little bit of, you know, it, it's in the That's form like of the city. Like the it, has, city. it has like crosswalks and there's like even signs. A, there's even a map. What street you're on, a map. There's, that looked like a city there's map. There's a grand yeah. station. Um, at the one thing that's really cool is the autograph process. So most conventions, you have to pay for autographs. Yeah, I mean. Um, this one's different. They had autograph slot times for each voice actor, whether yes. it be dubbed or subbed or a creator. Yes. And you're allowed one ticket per person. And the way it works is you get in line, you walk up, you say which person you want, what time, and then you got to get back out of line and get in line again if you want more than one signature from either that same person. And there's no limit. Or somebody else. So yeah, there's no limit. So we I literally did like a, a circle like five, six times. There wasn't it, that many people in line when it no. first opened because everyone's trying to get to that, you know, get to the exhibitor hall and buy all the and stuff. And so we got the tickets we wanted and the way it was set up was like a little airport kind of. So gate one was this person, gate two, gate three. So you had a little boarding so pass. So it was on, adorable. Yeah. Um, yeah, they and, give you these tickets, and you, yeah, it's just, it's, it's incredible to, to look at it because you're like, wow, we're actually going to board somewhere to go meet somebody. So. It's cute. So, the first person that we got to meet was Brina Palencia. She voices Toka in Tokyo Ghoul, mm. Mineta in My Hero Academia, Tony Tony Chopper in One Piece. Now, a fun fact about us is we met her a year at ago. the first anime convention we went yeah. to, which was last year in Phoenix, Arizona, Sabaton Gone. Yes. And at the time, Chris and I, we're just barely on My Hero Academia, so we, we just wanted to go meet Mineta. So there was no pops. We learned the hard way that there you were no pops. Yeah, her, we took actually. a photo with her and then found out that she also voices uh, another character on Black Butler. So it was yeah. kind of an interesting experience. So to see her again and remind her, I actually remind her, I was like, yeah, we actually met you a year ago. And she's like, really? I'm like, yeah. So it was kind of like a homecoming for us. And of course, this time, you know, we've upgraded our anime. You know, viewing. We went from My Hero Academia. We went to Tokyo Ghoul. One Punch Man. One Punch Man. Uh, Attack on Time. Sword Re-Zero. Online. Re Zero. Rise so, of the Shield Hero. Rise of the Shield. Okay, we get it. You watch anime. So, <laughs> so the first pop that we got signed, I chose this one because I got this back in March. I'll let Chris pop it up. Toka from Tokyo Ghoul. You can see that Vegas Toy Con when I got it. So I love Tokyo Ghoul and thought, yes, I need to get a Toka pop signed. Now I was arguing with Chris about bringing. This one because of the Hot Topic sticker, which is coming off a little bit. So I didn't want to bring it, but Chris is like, you got to bring it. It's your first Toka Pop. So I was able well, to get it I signed. also didn't want to risk not finding a Toka Pop at the convention. Yes. That's happened to us before where we're like, oh, I'll just buy a pop there. Armin from Attack on Time, and we I couldn't learned find it anywhere. two months and ago, yes. T- tuxedo Mask. And, and Tuxedo and Mask. SC2 that was my fault because I was supposed to buy the pop and I got too excited. Yeah. So, he, I, I convinced him to bring this one, which I'm really happy that I did. Because I, I think it's really cool when Hot Topic was doing those pre-exclusive stickers. Yeah, they should bring those back, right? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I think they should. Um, I got one sign. I'm going to pretend it's here from my brother. Same pop, no sticker. Um, and um, he wanted a quote on it. So, I think his quote was, Hunger of a Ghoul. Yes. And then we had her sign her name and then write Toka. Um, I'll have Patrick put a picture at the end of the video to see the pop. Um, I gave it back to him when I was in Arizona. I grabbed the rest of my stuff, so I don't have it with me. And I also put the photo of us three taking The picture with yeah, her. Yeah, so. She, but that is so cool. She is so yeah, freaking her nice. Her and Brina Palencia were having quite the uh, we're lovely talking conversation about, hair about her hair. Because I love her green hair yeah. and she loved my purple hair. And nobody loved the brown hair, apparently. So. <laughs> So I'm wearing hats, apparently. So, yeah, very happy to get this pop signed. And this is a huge bucket list for me because now I need to get Kaneki so I can reunite them together. How adorable, right, if you've seen the show. So I will give that to you. Yes, sir. Because uh, if not, I might drop it. This so will be the end of this video. after that, we had a little bit of a gap between our next signings. We decided to go down to the convention for a look around. And I was looking for a Master Roshi pop because I don't have one. Mm-hmm. And the voice actor was there, and we Mike had McFarlane, the ticket yeah. to get his... It's to get a signature. So we're walking around. We see this booth, and we recently started watching Attack on Titan. I finished it. It's incredible. I haven't finished it yet. It I watched season one. I want to review it before I go to season two. So I don't get confused. So um, we got this pop because Irvin. we are going to be seeing the voice actor at Michael LA Tatum. Comic Con next month. So yeah. usually when we go for pops, it's usually like, oh, I'm going to buy this because I'm going to see so-and-so at this convention, or hopefully they go to convention. So Patrick got one. And then I got one. And then while we were walking away, I realized... A big no-no. A big no-no. And it, it, we're going to do a contents video, I think, this yeah, one. Yeah, is the pop actually has a little of a, a little bit of a ding right there. Um, I know it doesn't really matter, but to us, it does. 
So Patrick was really upset because you know well, when you get dang, excited huh? when you're when you're buying Funkos, you don't really look at the condition sometimes. Or at least that's what happens to us at a convention. Looks like on the rack it got chipped right there. Yeah, so that was what and then really... there's a little bit of a crease right yeah, there. So. so I was like, oh shoot, you know what? What are you gonna do? So we um, started walking around and we went to another booth and we got another one. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, hey, that you know anybody knows me, I'm a stickler for the little plastic. She's like, we can just switch them out, Patrick. Like, yes, yeah, so I'll switch so up the plastic. So we got three of these, and Chris actually wants to take one out of the. Box. I do. So. And we have a spinner now. We have a spinner now. If you've now. seen our last video, so check so it out. I'm going to take it out of the box. This is what the pop looks like. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the footage of it spinning. Pop, um, his arm is missing. That's right. And I love his little uniform. But it's really, really cool, and I'm excited to get this pop signed. Yeah, J. Michael Tatum, if you don't know from um, Attack on Time, also voices a recently vaulted pop, Tanya Edith from My Hero Academia. Which I have right there. And uh, it's, it's, I'm fast tracking to look for Tanya Edith because <laughs> I need one signed. I'm going to get this one signed as well since we have that one. But yeah, this is really cool finding these Attack on Time pops because as soon as you get into the show, I don't see these pops anymore. When I wasn't into the show, I saw them everywhere. I saw them everywhere. So that seems to be our problem sometimes is when we're looking for a particular pop, yeah. we have a hard time finding it. And then magically and then we, we find it. We get it, and all of a sudden it's everywhere. It's in every store. It's unbelievable. The Funko God. But while us. But while we were there at that same booth where we got the original two Irvins at, yeah. Krissa found a pop from Tokyo Ghoul that she really wanted. Yes. I just started watching Tokyo Ghoul. I, love I it. absolutely love That's it. What I want to hear. Um, I'm just finished season one. Same with Attack on Titan. I need to review them on the podcast before I go to the next one. Yeah. Because I get confused and I mix things up. I think up. we're actually going to rewatch both because um, uh, during that movie, it kind of yeah. halted so all our I schedule. I have not got to this part yet of Tokyo Ghoul with his half Kaija. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Um, but Patrick got this pop and I liked it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me swoop this up right now because I don't see this one very often. And um, same with this one. I will put it on the spinner so you guys can get a closer look at it. That's what it looked like. It's pretty, like, pretty I'm cool. Not, I'm not taking, <laughs> I'm not taking it out on camera. On the hunt for the Master Roshi pop. Did was find one. a success. Yeah, in fantastic condition, by the way. So I got my Master Roshi signed. By Mike McFarlane. She doesn't, if I, she wants to say <laughs> Mike McDonald. I don't know why. It's Mike McFarlane, man. The guy wished her happy birthday on Twitter. He did, he like, did. So. That's what it looks like. Now, Patrick actually likes my pop. Did I leave you hanging? You thought you did. Was... You did. I thought you were going to say something. <laughs> no. More than his own pop, but I like his pop too. Um, Master Roshi. Ooh, Master on, Roshi. Man. Love Master Roshi. No, I was going to tease Chris's uh, for her birthday back in June. I tweeted to all the My Hero Academia uh, dub actors to wish her happy birthday, and Mike McFarlane was actually one of the first like three that did it, so... Very happy to thank him in person. So I got mine that I actually got when I went on a pop on the road to the Pop Shack in Las Vegas, which you can see right there. I don't know why I like stuttered on Las that Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, right there. You can see it right there. So yeah, I got this one. This is a specialty series one. Loved it. Especially with the green. I let him choose out the colors. We originally had our own colors picked out. But he had paint pens himself. And so we're trying to experiment with paint pens at the moment because there are a bunch of different brands. Yeah, we're going to be doing a video. I know I've been saying this for a while. We're going to do a con tips and a... And a uh, paint pen one so people can figure out which paint pens work for them but the voice actors seem to be getting pretty good at which ones to use and how to use them so mm -hmm. not bad at all look at these two beautiful things so hold this one i'm going to bring it up just a little bit closer for them so you can see your beautiful signature i just got to lean it down a little bit there look at that carissa look at this beautiful pop that you got carissa kamehameha Mike McFarlane, Roshi. I love your roshi pop i'm actually jealous of carissa's See, I roshi told pop you. that's what he was telling me the whole time we were in line 
Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I, mean, I like this one a lot better, but then, you know, then I look at mine, I'm like, well, it's actually like pretty yours. cool. Yeah, so you like mine better. Um, I didn't say that, but I, I like yours. I knew it. I knew it. You like your pop better. But, uh, What's my pop? <laughs> so if it's your pop, you like it better, huh? Yeah, the signatures are really cool. Just bring it up a little, little bit right there, yeah. So pretty cool. So that completes our day one. So now we're going to do pick of the pop. We're a little bit rusty, I've noticed, on this footage, we especially me. We have recorded yeah. in like four weeks. And it feels like we're back to square one again. Yeah, Is that so crazy? there's a lot of edits. Apologize. They're like, you already have tons of edits. Have that, you seen your is, previous that videos? True. That is true. That is true. Touche. So, pick of the pop is our favorite pop from the haul. Crystal, what are you going to be getting here? Okay. Sorry if the chair's a little squeaky, as I said earlier. I keep hearing it. All right. I will take that one. And dun da da dun da da dun I can't. I have to tie. I have to tie. It's hard, man. It's hard to choose. So, autograph pops. I mean, Roshi, Toka... You know, and Chris's Roshi over there has a better Roshi, I think. Let us know in the comments which Roshi do you think looks better. I think mine is better. We'll see. But this is the end of the video. And thank you, as always, to Crunchyroll Expo. I can't wait to go back next year. We actually started, uh, as soon as we saw the new release dates of the already, 2020 show. Yeah. Looking at Boom, we're already there. So, of course, please, 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 please comment on the video. Let us know what you guys think of our haul, what you guys think of Crunchyroll. And, of course, please like this video, share our video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification to stay up to date when we drop new videos. If you're into podcasts, we do one. It's Tomorrow Comes Movies, our name. We talk about everything beyond movies. And of course, I need to state this moving forward. With our podcasts, I was not mentioning this earlier, but this is an adult podcast, as Krista wants me to say. Meaning, we sometimes use explicit language. Unfiltered. Yeah, Come we're now. unfiltered. I guess I should say that. So, yeah, the potty mouth over here, that's why. <laughs> so, just want to throw that out there if you decide to listen to it. And we do interviews with uh, actors, voice actors, video game um, people, everything, just in general. I'm so rusty today. And, of course, we go to uh, different conventions to do con coverage, which focuses on Funko videos. So, that is it. So, have a good night. Have a good pop.